friends, welcome back to my channel, Sass here. I'm here to do another Foolery Friday on a Saturday. <sighs> Y'all, I get it together. I will get it together. But I'm here to announce the winners of the giveaway. I have contacted um, the winners. Um, so here are the winners. But I will like to say this, I boogie. If you are watching this, um, contact me. Um, I tried to inbox you, but it, something wasn't working. So, I boogie, contact me, all right? And congratulations to the winners. Congratulations to the support. And if you don't win, don't even worry about it. I'll probably do another one sometime later on this year. My goal, of course, is a thousand subscribers. So, when I hit that thousand, um, I do another, um, you know, giveaway, but let's get into it, all right? Of course, let's talk about Kobe Bryant. I know I am late to this story. This is a story that is tragic. As you all know, Kobe Bryant and his daughter, Gigi, I think she was 13 years old, died in a helicopter um, crash along with several other people. Um, these are the names of the other people. All right, the ones that was on the plane, of course, Kobe, Gigi, John Altabelli, Carrie Altabelli, Alyssa Altabelli, Christina Moser, Sarah Chester, Peyton Chester, and the pilot, Ari Zobanian. So, they all died tragically. Of course, we have had a week of people paying tribute after tribute after tribute. I know that they did something for the Grammys. They're going to do something for the Super Bowl. They did something um, last night at the Lakers game. Usher song Amazing Grace. And let me tell you something. It was beautiful. I tell you. I mean, I'm sure there was not a dry eye in that place. Not a dry eye. To be a Lakers fan, to be a fan of basketball, and to know that, you know, one of your heroes dies tragically. It's just, I just cannot imagine. And rest in peace. Prayers up to his wife. I mean, to lose your husband and the child. What else? What else can you say? What else can you say? I mean, it is completely devastating, and I sure do hate that. And just <sighs> prayers up to the Bryant family. Prayers up to just everyone involved. Just prayers up to the families that were on the helicopter. I mean, just so many lives lost. Just, mm-mm-mm. Let's move on. All right, let's talk about Mendices. If y'all are a fan of love and hip-hop in New York, then y'all know Mendices and Yandy. Well, he's been in prison, I think, for four years. How long he been in prison, y'all? Anyway, he got out. And honey, when I tell you the spectacle that they created, child, just a mess. And it had Mona Scott written all over it. Now, Mendices got out of prison. And they stopped on the side street near the nearest trash can they could find. Mendice gets out and he has the clothes and some Timberlands that he wore inside of uh, when he went and turned himself into the prison. Now, I didn't know this, but apparently, you get rid of the clothes that you wear inside, you know, when you turn yourself into the jail or prison, whatever, okay? Because it's considered bad luck. Okay. So, he gets out, he has them raggedy clothes, them Tims, and who's behind him? Yandy child. And so, white boots, hair done, face done, lips popping, with a long fur coat, child. Honey, she was walking 
like she was Michelle Obama and Mendeecees was um, Barack. I said, if y'all don't go somewhere home, and so he goes to the trash can and throws them into the trash can. Child, he tosses those Timberlands. Like somebody said, like he gonna never buy another pair of Timberlands. Child, if y'all don't stop it. I mean, you would think that if you get out of prison, why would you even want to even be seen? Have you taken a shower? Child, the first thing I would have did was take my butt home, have me a good old meal, have me a good old shower. But you out here walking around like y'all the, you know, first lady, the president of the United States. Boy, if y'all don't sit down somewhere, just sit down. So, congratulations to Mendeecees for getting out of prison, okay? C congratulations. Congratulations to Yandy for wearing that long fur coat. And the folks in New York said it wasn't even that cold outside. Girl, just, just a mess. Just a mess. Let's move on. Okay, let's talk about another shameful spectacle. Alright? Now, apparently, Meek Mill, Nicki Minaj, and her husband, coincidentally, they all ran into each other at some boutique, and honey, let the screaming, yelling, fighting commence, child. Honey, they were screaming. Nicki was calling Meek Mill all kinds of punk bees and the P-U-S-S-Y's and F-U's. I said, Lord have mercy. Meek Mill was screaming back. I think myself, why are you so upset with Nicki Minaj, your ex? How long they been broken up, y'all? She is married. And can I just say that her husband was standing right there? Now, see, I really can't tell if Meek Mill and the husband was going at it. Because, of course, we had somebody filming this with a flip phone. Y'all, I am so tired of these folks whipping out their phones and don't know how to do it. I've said this before. It was shaky. It was grainy. You couldn't hear nothing. You couldn't see nothing. Okay, the person doing the um, filming seemed like they nervous and scared. I said, child, child, it was blurry. I said, Y'all, do you think Meek Mill need to let that go? I mean, I don't even know how this even started. Again, her husband was standing right there. Was there smoke for her husband? Honey, keep Nikki out of it. You got a problem? Won't you scream and yell at her husband, Meek? Nikki showed up and screamed at you, honey. She was calling you all kinds of punk bees. It's show. Let's move on. Congratulations to Sierra and Russell Wilson. They are having another baby. I think this is two. And she has one by um, Future. So, congratulations, though, sir. You know what? They make a cute couple. And they seem like they genuinely love each other. Um, she seems very happy with Russell, and Russell seems very happy with Sierra. Gorgeous couple, gorgeous kids, and child, I wish them all the best. All right? Now, let's talk about the Super Bowl. Super Bowl is tomorrow. Will you all be watching? The halftime show is J-Lo and Shekinah. These hips don't lie. Is that how it goes? <laughs> I used to love that song. So we have the Chiefs and the 49ers. I will be pulling for the Chiefs. I'm an AFC girl because I am a Miami Dolphins fan fanatic. My Dolphins was trash. This I mean just trash. Just trash. So um, I'm pulling for the Chiefs. Um, I like their quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. I, I really like him and I'm room for them, but you know, whoever wins, congratulations. I am excited about seeing J-Lo and Shakira. I know some people had a problem with it, but who are you going to pick? Who are you going to pick to do the um, halftime show? Who would y'all like to see do the halftime show? Child, we can't have Bruno Mars and um, Beyonce every year, child. We ain't Lady Gaga. We can't have them every year. Okay, so... 
We'll see what J-Lo brings, child. They say that Ja Rule may pop up. You know, J-Lo needs to bring, cause I'm real, way you are, way you talk, way you are, I'm real. Listen, J-Lo and Ja Rule made a banger. A banger. It was so good. I mean, I, I, I wore that song out. But anyway, are y'all going to be watching the Super Bowl? Are y'all going to have Super Bowl parties? Are you going to make snacks? Let's talk about it down below. All right, let's talk about some Netflix stuff, okay? The story of Aaron Hernandez, child, bye. <laughs> it was very interesting, this documentary. I mean, he's something else. And the way his life went, it could have been prevented, okay? The murders that he did, senseless. Senseless, okay? Aaron Hernandez was a beast. I mean a beast. And he signed a multi-million dollar contract with one of the greatest teams of all time, the Patriots. And he flushed it down the toilet because he wanted to be rough and tough, okay? All right? So he committed murders, all right? There was no sense in it whatsoever. But he did it. He ended up in prison. He ended up hanging himself, okay? And then, you know, his sexuality became um, subject in this um, documentary. It's just crazy, okay? If you are interested, it's on Netflix, all right? And go, you know, check it out. There's a book that I want to recommend called Final Girls. Fantastic book, okay? I don't have it with me. My friend is borrowing it. But um, if you are a book reader and you want a great thriller, fantastic writing, fantastic characters that will keep you hooked, read Final Girls. This book will become a movie. It will become a movie. It is a fantastic read. So, anyway, guys, that's it. That is it. Short and sweet, all right? I will be back later for um, Love After Lockup. I'm getting ready to go and get this hair done, okay? And I can't be walking around here all dry looking like Michael. I can't do it. So, I'm going to go get my hair done, go to the grocery store, and then I will be back to film Love After Lockup, and it will be up later. All right, again, guys, road to 1,000. Let's achieve it. Let's achieve it, okay? I'm not too far off, all right? And like always, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next week, friends, bye.